OITX7R. As you can see, it resembles a bit the previous version, the X7. The dimensions overall are the same. The X7R has a couple of millimeters more of length, but as you can see, the head size is the same, reflector size is the same, and even the finish of the reflector is the same. So, what's the difference? What's the deal with the new X7R? So, basically, you have 12,000 lumens at the Turbo S mode instead of the previous 9,000 lumen of the X7. You have a micro USB charging port at the tail cap, which is hidden to preserve the EPX7 rating and is accessible by twisting and untwisting the tail cap. The body, as you can see, has different milling. While the X7 has a, had a squared milling, the X7R has a vertical millings on the top of the light and on the bottom there are finger grooves for better comfort. The switch is a little bit bigger and has a more hard click to it. If you're wondering what this thing is, this is the hidden lanyard attachment point that was missing on the X7R and as you can know if you can see it, but there is quite some glow under the switch because it has a motion activated sensor and will make the LED under the switch glow when you move the light or when you touch it acts as a locator and as a discharge battery indicator the user interface is the same from off single click turns the light on and off from off keep press to turn on the light at the firefly mode when the light is on keep press to cycle between low medium and high mode in loop double click to get the turbo double click to get the turbo s Turbo and Turbo S will be remembered as high mode and uh, pretty much that's it 12,000 lumens in the palm of your hand be sure to check out the full review with beam shots, runtime plots and everything else in the description below thanks for watching